Final score today at FedEx Park, 7-6. Georgia Southern rallies with nine runs of the night. Tigers nearly rallied uh, with three runs at the bottom of the night, but they come up just short 7-6. We're joined by head coach Darren Shornrock. Tough one today, coach, because uh, uh, I thought Drew Crosby uh, pitched, pitched well. Didn't have his best stuff, but he made the adjustment. Got you four and a third. Jason Santana's first career home run. Threw out a couple of runners, and it's one of those games, even 3-2 going into the ninth, it didn't feel like, just hang on, just hang on. But things worked out well. Uh, Georgia and Southern got their their uh, their all conference uh, home run hitter to the plate when when they needed him to do it, and uh, they come away with the win. Yeah, there was some there was some good at bats to get him there. You know, some of their guys laid off some tough pitches, and and they strung together the right moments to get Cleveland to the plate. And and I thought Smitty made a good pitch on him. He sat on a breaking ball. It was a pretty veteran move by him. And and uh, they, you know, I told the team they. They got basically, I don't know what the numbers are going to total, but they got one more guy on in the mm -hmm. key moment than we did. And uh, uh, Drew, you know, wasn't we were real sharp, but he just battled through and kept us in that thing as long as he could. And then, you know, we got some guys that hadn't been in many games in the middle there, and Blake Bennett and Taylor Bobo to get their feet wet a little bit in a close game, which was good. And your, your bullpen, for the most part, this whole season has been absolutely tremendous. Uh, unfortunately, Jonathan, last couple of outings, he has struggled. Let me ask you, first of all, I assume Colton Hathcock was not available. Yeah, we weren't going to go with Colton today. You know, he's pitched in four straight games, and and, uh, and just you can't you can't keep riding. Right. You know, it's such a valuable commodity that early in the season, you know, we wanted to give him a day. And, and it's you know, we got to find out some other guys to do some things down there. He'll be back in the mix tomorrow, and he wanted to – go today but you know in that in that looking at conference play still in front of us and he's new to that closers role uh we just elected not to use him today all right tell me about Bolin because it seems like he's been laboring a bit he's been laboring he's been laboring uh, you know he's having a hard time getting strike one mm -hmm. and then uh with the fastball you know he's throwing some oh oh breaking balls that are okay uh and then and the, you know the mentality of 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 being able to put guys away with the stuff he has he's still trying to figure that out he's still a young guy kind of learn his way and and uh, I think he's got some big moments ahead he just got to go back and go back to work the tying run they have the runner on third base they got the leadoff double there were no outs you had the infield up you got the first out and he brought the infield back with the one out tell me tell me the strategy well, there well knowing that we're going to get two at bats of their one if they score and mm -hmm. and and uh and I felt like okay, we 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 do have a guy that can strike guys out right. on the mound, and so not wanting to give up two there, uh, we give up the one, we give up the one. We're gonna now if they tie it up, we're gonna, we're still going to get two at bats of their one down the stretch, and I'll take our offense with two at bats to one, one through nine, you know, right now in in, in those because you saw we got some swings off in the ninth, and you know that's kind of that's kind of the way we play. Yeah, you talked about this offense going into the season. Slow start in that opening series against Tennessee, but they're starting to come around. Eight home runs now, three straight games of multiple home runs, seven different players. Turner has two, and you still haven't gotten Carrier going. So there, I mean, Santana hits one, Bowman hits one in the ninth. You got to be pleased where the offense is right now. Yeah, we're 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 starting to kind of come into our own, and, and getting Gruzy back in the middle there helps a little bit. You know, he's starting to get a few better swings off today, even than he did yesterday. Uh, you know, they made a couple of good plays on him, but. Uh, it, it we're, we're built that way. Where we we you know we gambled a little bit on the bases today with a couple of steals that we were trying to get some stuff against some lefties. But uh, for the most part, we're going to be able to we're going to be able to drive some gaps one through nine, and and then our pitchers have to take that in, into consideration. Going, I, I can't pitch too fine. I got to attack the zone. If I give up a run, we're okay offensively because we can answer back. All right, rubber game tomorrow. I would imagine you feel good giving Connor the ball. He had a terrific outing last Sunday. Yeah, you know, I think the team will feel really good with Connor on the mound. It, he'll have to set the tone early. That'll be a key. And and we've got a, you know, we're facing a similar type guy tomorrow. I thought he, uh, Icorn, did a really good job early, kind of beating barrels a little yeah. bit, and mm -hmm. even in some hitters' counts. We right. were, and part of that is the timing of what we faced last night. And now you're facing a power guy, and it's a total different timing mechanism. Now we'll be hopefully on a little bit better time tomorrow uh, against Cohen. Coach, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Thanks, thanks guys. Ross.